Welcome to No Nonsense Airbnb. In this video, I will show you how you can sync your Airbnb calendar with your VRBO listing and vice versa. You should try and do these kind of setups from a computer because their phone apps is not suited for complicated things like this. Once you're logged into Airbnb, just hover over to the top right, click on switch to hosting. That will take you to your hosting dashboard and then click on listings. That will take you to the listing page and then you need to choose the listing which you want to do this for. Once you're there, you will see all the options to manage your listing, but we are interested in getting to the calendar. So you need to click on calendar at the top menu. And once the calendar is open, you need to again click on the listing name, which is there on the left hand side. And in the calendar view on the right hand side, you will see pricing tab. And then the second is availability tab. That is the tab we are interested in. So click on availability. And when you scroll down towards the bottom, you will see connect calendars. Click on connect to another website, this option. And on the next page, you will see your Airbnb calendar link. This is the link which we are going to take and import it into the VRBO listing. And VRBO will also give a similar link, which we will bring and import it in the step two here. So let me just copy the Airbnb calendar link. And now I will go into VRBO and show you how to import this Airbnb calendar there. Once you're logged into VRBO, just hover to the top right, you will see your name, click on that and then click on owner dashboard that will take you to your VRBO hosting dashboard. And once there on the left menu, just click on calendar. And when the calendar is open, you will see import and export option here at the top. Click on that. And when this menu pops up on the right hand side, click on import a calendar because that is a step one we are doing. And once there, just click on this calendar URL and paste the URL which we copied from Airbnb. Choose the block option here at the bottom and then click on next. You just need to give it a name. So just call it Airbnb because when it places the block on your calendar here, it will show you the name as Airbnb blocked it. And then you can choose a different color if you like and then just click on import. As soon as you click that, it will import all your bookings from Airbnb and block the calendar here. Now, once that's done, the second step is we need to export the calendar from VRBO and take it to Airbnb. So just click on the second option here, export calendar, and then click on this copy URL. This has now copied the URL. Let me just go back to Airbnb and I will go back on this screen. And in here, I will just paste that link into other website link and I will call it VRBO and just click on add calendar. That is all you need to do. We have imported both the calendars into each other. So any booking that appears on VRBO will automatically block your calendar on Airbnb and vice versa. It's super easy once you know how to do it. Keep in mind, this is not real time. It won't block your calendar right away. The, the second you receive a booking here, there is a slight lag. It can be up to an hour's lag. But if you don't want that lag, if you want an instant block on the other website, you will need to use a paid channel manager software, which in, in most cases is not really needed. So just stick with this. If you just have one property and you've recently started, just keep it simple would be my advice and stick with this. This is more than sufficient for 99% of the hosts. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you found this video useful. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you would like me to make a video about something which is troubling you. Until next time, bye-bye.